Hi, my name's Helen. This is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. You can see I'm in a different place today. I finally made it down to the cabin and this is my first video that I'm recording in the cabin. So it's a bit of a learning curve. So uh, I hope you'll bear with me. Um, it's quite nice being down here, you know, because it does feel like I've kind of, ch well, I, I obviously, <laughs> it feels like I've changed location because I have changed location. Honestly, the stuff I come out with sometimes, I've bewildered myself. Um, but Katie took the last of her things and um, I've had a quick scoot around with the vacuum cleaner and uh, it looks quite presentable. The other thing I wanted to show you today was this um, little machine that I got from Current Body. Um, a few people have said to me, are oh, you going to show us what you're using and all that? And uh, I, I finally got around to it. So um, do you remember the red light um, mask and neck mask um, that they gifted me that I've been using? And I was still using that and I'm happy with that. And, um, and then they asked me if I wanted to try this. And um, so I've been using this for a little while and I'm pleased with the, the results. Um, obviously, you can't actually, um, you know, you can't stop the signs of aging, but you kind of can look as good as you can for your age. And um, an awful lot of things come into that as well, you know, skin type, um, exposure to sun, whether you've smoked or not, um, DNA, I mean, so many things. And um, as I've, as you, you know, my regular viewers know, I'm one of five girls. So we've got kind of quite a, a good um, kind of experiment there, I suppose. And for the five of us, there's two of us with very similar skin types and three that have got a, a more similar skin type different to me and my other sister. And um, they've got much finer skin my skin's quite kind of tough skin, really. And they, theirs is much finer and kind of freckly skin. Um, I have had a lot of sun in my time, but never kind of continental sun, you know, as such. I mean, just, you know, maybe a couple of weeks a year when I was younger. Um, but I tan quite easily. Now, I've been using Factor 30 or 50 on my face now for a good few years and this is fake tan which is the tan drops that I've shown you before and but my body is natural tan I tan very easily I still use a high factor but I do tan easily and I think because I tend to have an early holiday it kind of just rejuvenates and then stays for the for the summer months and um, so, you know, that's my skin type. But nonetheless, I want to look as good as I can for as long as I can, really. And this little machine is um, microcurrents. So it's cordless. Um, so you just charge it up. It takes about five hours the first time, I think. I just leave it on charge when I'm not using it, to be honest. And then you have this little gel, aqua gel, kind of um, carrier, I suppose, that that um, helps the current connect with your muscles in your face. And so you just pop some of this on. I'll just do this, this part. Oh, this is what I wanted to say. Can you see how that line is shorter than that line? Well, I think that's because I tend to use this when I'm on the phone to mum and um, I always have my phone in this hand, so I think I've been a bit more diligent with this side than the other side. So I just put that down my, what do they call that? Your nasal, I want to say labial fold, but I don't know if that's rude. <laughs> anyway, that line, everybody knows what I mean. And you just take it across there. Now I'm, I'm on um, number like three, so I have the three lights. And you just start here and then you just sweep across. And that's working on the muscles. It's sending a microcurrent into the muscles under your skin 
to kind of reawaken them, I suppose. Um, give them a bit of a chivvy up to, because when you're young, all of that collagen and all the muscles in your face are that much stronger. And, you know, they just carry, carry you, don't they really? Carry you stronger. That doesn't make sense. But you know what I'm saying? They're just kind of more efficient, I suppose. It's not fair, really. I mean, it's when you're young that they need to be uh, behaving themselves. So you get the idea. I mean, it doesn't take too long, really. You can do it while you're watching the TV or something. It's not intrusive. Um, and you can kind of feel it working. It's not painful or anything. You can tell. So you do, you do that. I won't do it all. I mean, gosh, like watching paint dry. You do that and you do that and you do the side of your neck. Never the front of your neck, but you do the side of your neck. And you just sweep it down. So it's so easy. And like I say, easy to do while you're watching the TV or, you know, whenever whenever you feel like it, really. When you've taken your makeup off of an evening, do it in bed. So anyway, I mean, you know, it's... It's easy to transport. It's got different adapters on there for the different um, power, you know, uh, continental plugs and all that stuff. And um, yeah, and I will have a discount code, which I will put at the bottom of the picture. And uh, I hope you, I hope you like it. Or you can just massage that in. It's just like, um, it's a very light kind of gel really moist moisturizing gel but it just um helps the current and helps the machine glide across your face so um that's that God, it's pouring with rain literally pouring with rain oh no the dog's just gone out for a walk back doors wide open it was sunny when I walked down here literally five minutes ago and now it is pouring down. So I've just got to get the dog's um, bed cover. Washed it yesterday and it takes forever to dry so I didn't want that to get wet again. Sorry about that. Real life and all that. Um, oh, I can't believe it's pouring with rain. It might not be raining where Dolly is actually because the walker's taken her a little way away. Um, yeah, so I've got a next haul now. I wasn't going to buy anything in the next clearance. Truly, I wasn't. But it kept calling me. It's not my fault. It kept saying, you haven't had a proper look. So I did, which is fatal. But you know what? I'll try these things on. And if they're not super duper perfect, something that I haven't got already. But, you know, again, I would say to you, the clearance section is always there on the next website and it's got brilliant filters. So I filter on size. And if I'm, you know, if I'm just looking for one thing, I filter on that category. Um, I filter on names. So, you know, I was seeing if there was any cashmere sweaters. So I just put cashmere in. But and then you can filter on price so high i usually start I, I do high to low but i don't start looking until it gets down under 100 pounds because there's nothing that i'm doing right now that needs anything that costs more than that <laughs> although i have got in this haul which you might not see it depends but it's a very expensive swimsuit and if it is fantastic I may keep it but I've got a feeling that my thumbs won't be strong enough to pull it up because it's one of those miracle suits I need a miracle I can tell you that so and the other thing I wanted to show you is um this bra from Bravissimo which I'm loving so you know I've tried on quite a few dresses that have got kind of open backs and um things like that and I got this bra in the Bravissimo sale Look at the back on it. I mean, it's a bit of a contraption, but it looks so nice on. And you know, so if you had a backless dress, I mean, that's that's nice to actually. Well, obviously, it's for show because why else would it be there? But hello, <laughs> I think it's really nice. It's got all this kind of rose gold uh, metalware, and I don't know if they've still got them, but it's just a Mallory, and it's quite generous sizing. 
I could probably have gone down, this is a double F, I probably could have gone down to an F, but it's not, you know, it's fine. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. I might, I might pop that on as well, depending. I can't even remember what I've got in this haul. This first dress is a finery dress and um, it's really pretty actually. I wasn't sure at all about it because it's quite a silky fabric and it is viscose, but it's a very, very nice quality and it's beautiful colours. All of these um, periwinkle blue and green and a bit, a little bit of pink. It's quite low and it's a very unusual design because you can see it's got these buttons down here but that's actually a wrap over. So there's a wrap that goes underneath that ties there. So I suppose you could have these. It's quite booby, isn't it? But we can sort that out. So you could kind of have it un, undone a bit more to give you. I don't know how this is coming out for you on the camera, but um, it's a really nice dress. This is a problem I always have with wraps. It kind of goes over this boot and then that one wants to have a little display session. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera off and grab the um, price ticket and see how much it is. So this is 32 pounds. It really is a lovely, lovely summer dress and I am sorely tempted because it's a little bit different. I mean, I can sort that out with just a little pin there or, you know, just stitching that in place or whatever, a little, one of those little um, button things you can get on Amazon, you know, that goes through and holds. It's just like a little flower or something. But it's a nice shape, isn't it? It's the usual thing that um, I'll decide when I see it. It's got lovely sleeves with this button too. I mean, it's a lot of work for, you know, a 32 pound dress and it hasn't creased up at all. So yes, yeah, so that's number one. Unusual design and, and I like that. It's, it's not obvious and it's not tiered. So, um, you know, if you were looking for this on the next clearance, just type in finery and all the finery dresses will come up. Finery do come up sometimes a bit on the small side. So if you're, you know, a 16, 18, go for an 18. And this is a standard 18. So that's number one. This top is from Roman. And uh, again, when you're looking on the next clearance, there's only one picture, you know, it's not showing you the back or anything. So, I, and I haven't got the details down here for this one, but um, I've tried it on with the black trousers from S Deer, which um, you'll have seen on Wednesday's video. And it's got this kind of, it's not for me, I'll say straight off, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it if it's your cup of tea. It's got this kind of sheer edging with silver stars on. So quite kind of Christmassy, dressy, but it's not my cup of tea. It's got this inset at the back. And it kind of goes really long at the back. As I say, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my style. But unless you try, you don't know, do you? It's got the stars going down the side. It's nice and lightweight. So, you know, if you're going to something, it'd look nice with them. Um, like pleather trousers, I think, you know, slim pleather trousers. Um, yeah, so like I say, nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, and it would have been half price. So if it is your cup of tea, it's a good buy. And this one will be going back. This is an 18 too. So um, there was only one dress in this haul. So um, this is one of the many tops that I've got to show you. Oh, I didn't say what it was, did I? Sorry. It's um, viscose and elastane, and the trim is obviously polyester. So, as I say, nothing wrong with it, just not for me. That black top was actually £15. I just found the paperwork. Um, now, this is a pure linen shirt. This is Next Zone brand. And again, if you were searching, just type in linen, and everything linen will come up. 
um, even if it's like the colour linen, it'll come up, but it does help you. And this is £21, as I say, 100% linen. I think it's a lovely colour and it's a nice bit. Covers my backside, covers my front side. Nice, isn't it? I'll probably keep this just because you can't have too many linen shirts, really. And that is good, good value. It would have, that's at least half price. Um, I'm just checking that it is what I said it is. Which... Yes, 100% cotton linen. So um, just a good shirt. I mean, these are the sorts of things you get now and then they're nice and fresh and new for next summer. Two big patch pockets and just this little kind of bit of detail there. Whatever that's for, I don't know, just a little bit of detail. So, um, yeah, pleased with that. So I'm definitely keeping this. So this is also 100% cotton and this is £21. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's got this beautiful inset of lace through here, which really dresses it up, doesn't it? And it's a nice length. I mean, I would have liked it a smidge longer, but it's long enough. Or I could put a vest top under it and just create that kind of layered look. But um, it's got a plain back. But, oh, it's, don't you think it's glorious? I, it's, this is Lipsy, actually. And I, I wouldn't ever look at Lipsy because I think of it as a really young brand. But I like the fact as well that it's solid around the sort of boobs. So, you know, if you put on, I've got like a, a natural, you know, my Rigby and Pella kind of, for me, skin coloured bra. But, you know, I could wear it with, could I? I haven't got a mirror here. I think I could wear it without um, a top, uh, a vest, but I could also wear it with a, a bright pink bra or, you know, a red bra even would contrast. But I love the way that it's got the lace scallop on the front. And, uh, yeah, did I say I really like this blouse? It looked lovely with a pair of white linen trousers, wouldn't it? You know, for, well, if we get a summer now, I hope that wasn't it in June, but um, I can't complain. I've had two holidays, so. But I feel sorry for the kids, you know, it's rotten, isn't it, when they get to their summer holidays. Well, there's really dark grey sky there, and there's really bright blue sky there. A England for you. Anyway, that's, uh, let's see. Do I need this and the orange? I'll, I'll decide when I look on the camera. <laughs> I'm a shocker, aren't I? An absolute shocker. I still haven't cleared my wardrobe out. But I have been good. Well, good. God, I hate that. Um, I have done both bathrooms and completely cleared out the drawers. We've got drawers under the sink. And the bathroom cabinets, I got rid of so much rubbish. You know, when you have all those little bits of, of shampoo and things that you think, oh, that, yeah, I can't throw that away. And then two years later, you throw it away. So I need to be more, either empty it into the, you know, to the existing shampoo or, or, you know, just chuck it. But anyway, they're done. So I have done something. I'm building up to the big one, which is my wardrobe. But yeah, I love, I love this shirt. This would be great for Dubai in October because I could wear this with white linen pants and that would be just the job. Although I'm not sure I need long sleeve. Anyway, whatever, I love this shirt. Covering all the seasons here. Um, this is a white stuff jumper. I thought, oh, jumpers, pullovers are so expensive um, and nearly impossible to find wool. This isn't wool. It has got some wool in it. And this one is 32 pounds. So this would have been 64 pounds. It's, it's a kind of, um, it's knitted with, it's kind of looks like got a layer of fluff over the top of it. It's the only way I can describe it, but I love these pink colors. I don't know about this one. I think it would look really nice in the winter with a, you know, a black skirt or, I mean, even these trousers, I'll probably put a vest under it just to bridge that 
belly gap. I like the fact that the pattern's all the way around. But um, now the other one I got, which is also 32 pounds. I can't even put this on. Look at that. It, it feels and looks like the cheapest, nastiest knitwear. And you know, this was over 60 pounds. This is white stuff as well. I generally am not impressed with white stuff. This is 80% wool and 20% nylon. I don't, know, I don't know what they've done with it. They kind of made it nasty. So I can't, I can't even bring myself to pop this one on, but um, just thought I'd show you anyway. I mean, this one I quite like the kind of, you know, the cute reindeer and stuff. Because I know that's kind of Christmassy, but you know, I don't think it's only for Christmas that you could wear it. So that's, I've just got the swimsuit left. So I'm gonna go and see if I can put that on and look half decent. And if I can, I'll show you. And if I can't, I'll just show you it off me, um, which is a fat lot of good, isn't it? But, um, you know, because a lot of people commented on the white one that I had from Sainsbury's and said it probably goes see through in the water and stuff, which obviously is a big consideration. This one is completely lined. And I know, I mean, but you'd expect it to be. It's a nine, it's 95 pounds reduced from over 200 pounds. So it, it needs to be off the chart fantastic. So I'll go and see, I'm not promising though, because I haven't even got a sarong down here. So you'll only see it from here up anyway, because I'm just not that brave. So I got it on, that's something. And it is a lovely costume swimsuit, but it's not a hundred pounds worth of lovely, because I still have this problem where it's sort of short in the body. It's got this fabulous, um, back on it which I do really like but you know I, w I want my boobs to be supported not kind of in situ so to speak and it has got this mesh bit here which you know I, I don't mind actually um because you know it's still covered um and if it was just you know an inch or so higher but it can't go any higher than that um so anyway, it's always worth a try, you know, it's always worth a try because it does feel lovely on. I mean, compared to the Sainsbury's one, it's fantastic. It's got, you know, this clever ruching here and the twisting detail and uh, it, it, it looks like an expensive swimsuit, put it that way. But it just, you know, for that money, for me, it would have to fit every um, need and it doesn't. So I'll, I'll just take this off because I feel like an idiot. It's pouring down with rain and I'm standing here in a white swimsuit. Um, I'll go and take this off and then I'll wrap up.